Good morning. Good to see everybody. I want to start us off by reading a little bit from Psalm 67. Uh, we as a church have been going through a series called The First Five, where we are focusing on the Church of Christ in the midst of this culture. And we've been focusing on the first couple of weeks of the year on prayer and on the Word. And uh, this morning we want to focus on ethnic harmony or racial reconciliation through the gospel uh, in the church. So Psalm 67 will start us off here, a little taste of, of the Lord's purpose through Christ for all the world. He says, May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us, that your way may be known on earth and your saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the peoples with equity and guide the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its increase. God our God shall bless us. God shall bless us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. As you're with us this morning, that is our hope and our prayer is that you would come in and go out fearing the Lord with great joy in Christ. Some announcements for us this morning. If you look on uh, these little bulletins that we have, they're on the back. We want to remind you that our time of corporate prayer has moved and shifted from Wednesday mornings, or excuse me, Wednesday, Wednesday evenings to Sunday mornings. Uh, we, we're meeting from 10.10 to 10.40 a.m. Uh, back in the youth room next to the kitchen. It's just been such a sweet time, uh, a sweet time of preparation. We're in the Word, we're in prayer, and then we come in here, and our hearts are, are ready uh, to, to really worship and serve the Lord in this way. So uh, let, me, let me invite you all to, to make it a point to, to be a part of that on the Lord's Day mornings. Uh, we do want to make you aware that your giving statements, the 2020 giving statements, are available uh, to you in the cafe, right? Yes, starting today, all right? We're going to have a members meeting on January 24th, so that's next Sunday, so you just want to put that down. We have a lot of things happening uh, next Sunday. We have a members meeting, and in that meeting we're going to be discussing uh, several things that <clears throat> um, are just going on in the, the life and ministry of our, of our church family. Uh, we're going to talk about the proposed budget. We're going to talk about uh, deacon nominations. We actually had a financial surplus from, from last this past year. And so we're going to put some proposals before you uh, about what we would like to, to see happen with that surplus. Uh, we also, next the next Sunday also, this is um, going to be really important for us. This is Sanctity of Human Life Sunday. Not this Sunday, but next Sunday, January 24th. And one of the things that we're trying to do as part of that is not only preach to it from the Word of God, uh, but we also want to be doing some practical things. And one of the practical things that we're doing is uh, taking up some money for the pregnancy center uh, in our area. And so in the foyer, as you were coming in, uh, you could see uh, the, the baby bottles. So what we would like for you to do between now and next Sunday is to take one of those baby bottles. It would be really great not to see a single one of those left in the foyer. Take it home with you, your spare change, cash, any kind of donation that you want to make, I um, want to encourage you to, to do that and bring that back next Sunday, and then Miss Suzanne, I believe, will take whatever we're able to raise to the Pregnancy Center uh, to be helpful to them and to the ladies, the young ladies, or whoever uh, that's coming in for, for help there. So just be aware of that. Also, next Sunday uh, is our first Discipleship Quarterly, uh, where we're going to be going over... Uh, the proposed affirmation of faith from the elders. And I believe uh, also in the foyer there are still some copies of that. Uh, we did try to post it to Slack uh, this, this week, so you can find it on Slack and print it out for yourself, but there should be some, some hard copies as well uh, in the foyer for you if you want to take that with you. And that will be from 6 to 7.15 uh, next Sunday evening. So we just want to invite you to come and, and be a part of that discussion together. Men's and Women's Discipleship. Men's Discipleship is going to be uh, happening this, uh, let's see, I guess it's this coming Saturday, January 23rd. That's at 8 a.m. We have been meeting over Zoom. Uh, that's now going to be in the sanctuary, and we're going to be covering Chapter 5 
in a book called The Gospel, How the Whole Church Portrays the Beauty of Christ. And so men, let me encourage you to be a part of that. And then ladies, uh, Saturday, January 30th, I think you are beginning a, uh, a new study in First Peter. So beginning in February, as a church, we're going to be preaching through the letter of First Peter. And so the ladies are going to be studying First Peter, A Living Hope in Christ by Jen Wilkin. Uh, I don't know. The, the lady, listen, the guys, we kind of plot along. The gals fly through stuff. So I'm not sure uh, if you're trying to keep pace with me as I'm preaching through First Peter. That might take the rest of the year. Um, but anyway, let me encourage the ladies to come and be a part of that. It'll be a good time of fellowship and study in First Peter. Also, a lot of, lot of announcements. Super Bowl party. I think that's going to be at our house. Uh, it's normally Sunday evening, the first Sunday in February. Uh, it usually kicks off around 6.20. We're going to have some details uh, put together for you guys so you know a little bit more about that coming up. And then right around Valentine's Day, probably either the Friday or the Saturday before Valentine's Day, we're also going to be hosting just a conversation for, for singles, for couples that are dating, married couples and whatnot. We'd love to just open our Bibles and, and kind of uh, receive your questions and try to provide some answers along the lines of, of what Scripture has to say about relationships and those kinds of things. Tithes and offerings. You have a, what did George call it last week? The treasure box. The treasure box right here. Also back there beside Miss Jan. Uh, you can drop off your tithes and offerings right there. And if you are a visitor, the restrooms are not in this building. You have to go into the back building there, and they're off on to your left. Okay? Great. This morning, we have the great privilege of presenting someone to you as elders uh, for membership at the Mount Church. Uh, it's one of the ways uh, this presentation to you for your vote and affirmation uh, about them is one of the ways that you perform, practice meaningful church membership. We want to be a, a regenerate church, a worshiping family where every member is a true believer in Christ. And so this is important for you to be able to affirm gospel citizens. And so with that, let me invite up Nathan Windsor. <clears throat> He's a brother that uh, your elders have sat down with, had conversations with, very encouraged by his story, his testimony, and his profession of faith in Christ. And so what we want to do is just ask him a few questions here uh, so that he can publicly uh, profess his faith by simple yes, hopefully no no's, uh, to you. So, do you believe that without Jesus you are a hopeless sinner who has rebelled against God and deserves his righteous anger? Yes, Amen. Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and the Savior of sinners? Do you trust that Jesus' death on the cross has saved you from your sins? Yes, sir. Amen. Do you believe that God has adopted you as his child and made you part of his family, and that he wants you to live your life in deep relationships with your brothers and sisters in this local church? Yes, sir. Amen. Do you promise to rely on the Holy Spirit and obediently follow Jesus in everything as his servant and his missionary to your family, your neighbors, your co-workers, your enemies, and your friends. As a member of the Mount Church, do you promise to pray for God's kingdom to advance in the Clemson Central area and to the ends of the earth? Do you promise to give your time, energy, and money generously to accomplish that goal? Yes, sir. And do you promise to love the diverse group of believers called the Mount Church? Uh, will you submit to our pastors and eagerly pursue and protect this church's unity, diversity, love, and purity? Yes, sir. Amen. All right. So, church, on the basis of his, his answers here, do you affirm him as a member of the Mount Church? Yes or no? Everybody said yes, and we clap. No. Here's the thing. This is pending. See, I tricked you guys. This is pending baptism. So we're going to go out here in just a moment, and we're going to baptize him in the freezing cold temperatures. Yay. All right. So just a few words on baptism before we do that. Uh, baptism is one of the, one of the great ways uh, that Jesus has given to us to signal that we as a church believe that someone uh, has credibly come to faith in, in Christ. And so just as much as it's Nathan's faith going public, it's also him seeing the importance of, of being affirmed by and united to a visible 
local church. Right? As the Lord's Supper uh, takes, the, takes the many and shows us, makes us one, baptism is something that takes the one and binds him to the many. And so baptism is more than just getting wet. And it's a proclamation by Nathan and by us that, that Jesus is worth our lives. That Jesus is building his church. Amen. That we ought to be a part of the church. That sin and Satan and death and hell are defeated foes. That the gospel is indeed true. That Christ is indeed king. And that by God's grace we fully resolve to lead relentlessly resurrected lives in the context of his new creation community. And that's just a bit about it. But enough to move us outside with great joy to hear Nathan's testimony and to baptize him into our membership, okay?